I had an absolutely beautiful time celebrating my 85th birthday with all of y'all at the O2 London last year, and I'm looking forward to doing it one more time again. This year, except this time, in honor of three very special products I produce that I think y'all may have heard of before. It's an absolute dream to present this music live, so I hope you'll come join me for a hang thing. It's time to rock with y'all. Tickets are on sale now, so don't stop till you get enough, okay? everybody it is me brandy coming back at you again i know this is relatively fast um this is not actually the video that i intended to upload today um i still may upload the other one but this one is kind of um something that just kind of fell across my lap that i wanted to talk to you guys about i don't really know where it stands i saw other people talking about it but i didn't see a lot of people talking about it so i kind of put two and two together and wanted to chat about it for a minute today so i'm gonna talk to you guys about something interesting that happened probably about a year ago there is a website um that is called blind gossip i believe i heard it was owned previously by media takeout which is kind of an online gossip website similar to tmz but a lot more messy um they kind of put not so nice things on there but um there's a site called blind gossip and they had run an article basically blind gossip is a site that posts blind items about celebrities so a blind item is a new story typically in a gossip column basically um it's the details of the matter are reported while the identities of the people involved are not revealed so they have these inside tips they receive from people throughout hollywood or wherever um that give them these tips about celebrities um that might be true might not be true but they kind of report it on this site and what this site does blind gossip they kind of make it fun by saying can you guess this person who is is and like about 70 to 80 percent of the time they reveal to be true um because the story will actually leak with the people's names so they'll actually post it and it's interesting some of it's not so nice but usually it's pretty playful and fun um so blind gossip actually posted this story um last year in february so basically it said this music producer may have quieted down in the public revelation of long health secrets but he isn't shutting up in private here's one more wild claim that he is making he said that male legend is actually still alive and that he faked his own passing so that he could live a private life he says he has been in contact with him that he's ready to make a comeback and that he's going to produce his album so it's so interesting because immediately this last february there was this huge thing going on with Quincy Jones. Um, he was basically, he did this interview in which he was just spilling the tea on everybody in Hollywood that he had worked with over the years. And he, there was a point where he got to Michael and he was basically just saying that Michael copied a lot of things from other artists and, you know, stole a lot of different ideas from different artists. It was pretty shady what he said about Michael, but it was some, some shitty things he said. I, I don't think it was horrible, but he just kind of went in on him, which was kind of strange because, you know, he said shady things about Michael before. I think they just kind of had that relationship. If, if unless you live under a rock, um, you know that Michael, I'm sorry, Quincy Jones has produced tons of music for Michael Jackson, including Thriller, Bad, and I believe Off the Wall. Um, he worked with him. Michael sought him out to work with him. Um, they created magic together. Everyone knows that. So there's been all this controversy. I know that Quincy had sued Michael's estate for money he was owed for royalties it was crazy so you'll find plenty of information about that on the web um but so he does this interview and he's saying how michael did all this stuff and people were outraged pissed off at him blah 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 i think he did win his case against the estate and did get paid um so when this blind gossip 
blind item came out, people in the comments were immediately saying, you know, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. Um, it was kind of weird because he was just kind of dissing Michael, but then he comes out and says this. So no one, he never said Michael's name himself, but I know a lot of people were like, oh my God, he's got to be talking about Michael. Um, and what kind of got everyone was basically that he's ready to make a comeback and that he's going to produce his album. So it was really interesting that this happened. This was about a year ago. So we didn't hear anything else about this at all. It just kind of went silent after that. But then recently he makes this post. Um, and in this post, he states, it's a video, a video that I put at the very beginning of this video. He says, I had an absolutely beautiful time celebrating my 18th birthday with all you guys at the O2 London last year. I'm looking forward to doing it again this year, except this time in honor of three year, in honor of three very special projects I produce that I think y'all may have heard of before. It's an absolute dream to present this music live, so hope you will come join me for a hang thing <laughs> hilarious it's time to rock with y'all tickets go on sale friday 2 15 february 15th so don't stop till you get enough so he this was on an instagram post that he had made um basically confirming that he was doing this concert at the o2 arena in london for his 85th birthday um so a couple of posts later there it was revealed um tickets are on sale now for quincy jones presents off the wall thriller and bad check out the link and his bio so basically it's interesting he has this concert coming out um june 23rd and it's going to be two days before the 10-year anniversary of michael's quote-unquote death and it's so funny that you know it's this off the wall thriller bad live performance i don't really know if there's anything to it i don't really you know ever feed into like comebacks or anything like that but I just wanted to kind of run that by you guys it's funny that there was this correlation that this was said like you know last year this blind item comes out he was saying all this crazy stuff and then it, it was never confirmed that it was Quincy Jones that made this statement but I don't really know who else anybody could be talking about um so we will see what happens it's Quincy Jones is very fascinating to watch um you never know. So I wanted to kind of run that by you guys and just get your thoughts. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and enable notifications for my next video. But leave your comments below and let me know what you guys think. What do you what do you think of this? Is there something to this? Is are we just reading into too much? What? It's just very funny. So all right guys, thanks. I will have another video up soon. Um an actual, actual video. So thanks for your time and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.